Well, hi. This is uh, March 27th, 2012, and I uh, recently posted a little video about uh, uh, something that's going on here in our community in front of our high school, Valley High School, in the city of New Kensington, the New Kensington Arnold School District. There is a granite uh, monument with the Ten Commandments inscribed on it. It's been there for years, years and years. And sure enough, um, somebody complained about it called the Freedom From Religion Foundation. Wonderful, just wonderful folks those guys are. And uh, they're, actually, they're actually Satan's missionaries. <laughs> Even though they don't believe in Satan, they don't believe in all that supernatural stuff, they are Satan's missionaries. They go all over the country trying to erase any semblance of any kind of faith in anything supernatural, especially Christian. Anyhow, they're threatening a lawsuit. They're going to sue because uh, we have this horrible Ten Commandment thing up there. And, and sure enough, there's uh, people are gathering together. There's going to be a rally. There's petitions going around to keep the Ten Commandments. And those are good things. Uh, fellow pastors in my community I know are going to get together Hopefully I'll be able to be at that rally. I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to because of some other things that's going on in my life, but uh, petitions going around. And the petition says on it that the, the plaque has, or the, uh, the stone has historical significance. Historical significance. That's the only reason, you know, that's the only leg we have to stand on to try to keep it standing there. And I, I said in my former uh, YouTube post that most of the people who are going to be rallying to keep the Ten Commandments there, I wonder how many of them really care about what it says. Because the reason this is happening is our society, where at one time it was a society that had a lot of Christians in it, we, we were never a Christian nation. I'm sorry, uh, people have made uh, a big deal about, well, we are a Christian nation. We were never a Christian. If you look at our original documents, it doesn't say anything about Jesus. Thomas Jefferson hated the gospel. John Adams hated the gospel. They believed in some kind of God, some kind of creator, but they certainly weren't Christians. Some of the others were Freemasons, uh, had some kind of God of the universe or whatever, and there were a few genuinely born-again Christians. But the thing is, the government they crafted was not a Christian government. Because nowhere in any of the documents is the word Jesus used. Um, in fact, if you read the Declaration of Independence, there's a statement there that says that we believe that God, uh, I, I'm, I'm just paraphrasing, basically it says that God created government uh, that is empowered by the people who are governed. That's in the Declaration of Independence. And that's nowhere in the scriptures. The, the authority and power of government comes from God not from the people who are governed. What that is, that's a picture of the, uh, the toes, the ten toes of iron and clay in Daniel's, uh, Nebuchadnezzar's vision that Daniel interpreted. Anyway, uh, the thing is, you know, our nation has uh, deteriorated. We've eliminated God from our public consciousness, or we're attempting to. We have leadership that is godless and lawless uh, rebellion against the God, the Holy One of Israel. And that's not just this latest, not just the last, the president that we have now, but it's been that way for quite some time. And uh, ultimately, you know, these, this, this granite monument with the Ten Commandments on it, it's coming down. You might say, well, we'll get a petition and we'll get, you know, thousands of names on it. It doesn't matter. California, millions of people voted to outlaw gay marriage and one, one, judge, one federal judge, erased it all. So it's good, sign the petitions. I'm pleased. I'm not trying to tell people not to do that. And if in your community, I'm, I'm, this is on YouTube, so maybe one of the six or seven people that watch this live somewhere else. If in your community this is going on, a fella sent me a, a video about in Montana there was a statue of Jesus that was erected after World War II. And again, the same group, the Freedom From Religion folks, they tried to get it torn down, and they kept it on historical purposes, not on 
religious purposes. So maybe that'll happen here with this, with this uh, monument, and I hope it does. I hope it stays up. But what's really more important, and this is a message to Christians, listen, it's going to get worse. It's going to get worse. And we can wring our hands and try to fight and try to protest and try to uh, rally. And those are, do, do that. That's good. That's, go ahead, do that. But the thing is, it's going to get worse. So it's time for all believers to decide. And see, there's a whole lot of folks that are walking around today that are saying, yeah, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian. But when it comes right down to it, are you really? Are you really? Do you really care what the Ten Commandments say? Do you live your life in a way that shows that maybe you really do care that God thinks about how you're living? Because most people don't. Most people who go to church don't care what God thinks about what they do, except on Sunday morning, maybe Wednesday night. So I'm just telling you, all you Christians out there who are, you know, they want to fight this. Okay, go ahead, do what you can do. But listen, Caesar's going to take what's his. He's going to take what's his. They threw God out of the schools years ago, said it was illegal. Now we're going to think because we have the Ten Commandments in front, that's going to make a difference. Well, maybe it will to somebody. But all I know is this. Look up for your redemption draws nigh. Get ready, because Jesus is coming back. And for all these heathen who are raging... Yeah, you'll have your day in court. The earthly court will find in your favor. And the Ten Commandments will come down. But someday you're going to stand in front of the great judge. Mm -hmm. You're going to stand in front of a great white throne. And he's going to look at you. And you're going to look at him. And he's going to say, who are you? And you're going to say, I was a good person. I did good things. He's going to say, I don't know who you are. And you're going to be cast into an eternal lake of fire. Laugh at it. I know you're laughing at it. That's superstition. You're trying to scare me. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm not trying to do it. I'm just telling you what the Bible says. For all you people out there that want to pull down God, Satan tried to do the same thing. We know what's going to end, where he's going to end up. He's going to be at the bottom of the lake of fire. So... Uh, God bless you all. For Christians out there, listen, keep looking up. Our citizenship, our first citizenship is in heaven. If you get confronted with one of these situations, go ahead. Protest, scream, yell, take petitions. That's good. I'm not trying to dissuade you from doing that. But ultimately, ultimately, God is going to have his way. And the only time when God will will prevail is when Jesus Christ comes back. That's when he'll make everything all right. He'll make everything fair. He'll put everything in his place. Put your faith and trust in Jesus and thank him for every day of life. I thank, I thank God I live in the United States of America. We have freedom and liberty. They're, they're eroding quickly, but we still got them, so thank God for that. Put your faith and trust in Jesus. Make sure he's your Lord and Savior because when this life ends, eternity begins. And you're going to spend it in one of two places. Either in his presence in the light or in utter eternal darkness. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.